Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm gonna try and make a full drill beat in 10 minutes. And man, I almost wasn't gonna film today. I've got COVID right now, and it's just wiped me out. I've been in bed all week, got zero energy, feeling mad tired and ill, but yo, I've never missed an upload on the channel, so I'm not about to start now. So whilst the paracetamol's kicked in, I thought maybe I could do a 10 minute challenge, cause I really just don't have the energy for something in depth. But I think this could be fun to watch. I don't really know how it's gonna turn out, or if it's even possible right now. But I'm just gonna try and not overthink anything and run with my first ideas so let's get straight into it all right so i've got fl studio open we're in the session and the only thing that i've got preloaded are just some sounds these are all sounds that i have in my template every time i open fl and then i've just added a piano some strings and some vocals and this is one thing i'd advise everyone to do even when you're not doing challenges just set up a template because you're gonna save so much time you're not gonna have to go through your packs to pull out the same kick and eight weight that you always use it's just a good way to speed up your workflow <coughs> All right, so I've got my phone ready, my 10 minute timer about to go, and I think I'll just run with it in three, two, one, let's go. I'll put a timer on the screen too. All right, let's start with some chords. Looks like a scale's already highlighted from the last beat. All right, here we go. Just gonna strum them. Randomize the velocity. It's gonna have to do, I don't have time. So I've just pasted it into the strings. Gonna get rid of the bass though. Picking up that piano bass though. Maybe we could add a vocal. That one might work. And let's try another. Come on, give me something. All right, that could work. It needs some quick EQing though. So I'm gonna link them together. Wait, how much time we got? All right, seven minutes. Let's just add an EQ. Gotta save room for that bass. Then in the strings, I need to save room for the, for the vocals. Alright, that's gonna have to do. Let's go for a count snare. I need to be quick with these. Just bringing the velocity down, some of them.
All right, that's gonna have to do. Can't put it into the second one. Shit. That'll do. I'm gonna copy that into this perk as well. But I'll just leave it at the end here. Alright, cool. Um, snare. How much time have I got? Less than five minutes. minute i'm just gonna have to arrange it all right come on quick arrangement split by channel bring everything in it's gonna copy out a few times and let's just start with the piano and then maybe the vocals can come in 
like here. And then in this section, I could have a counter snare. Like this. Have the perks come in here. Take the kick out. And I could copy this over. Wait, I think I've got some rises in here too. There we go. And then the strings can come back out. All right, I need to stop. That was pressure, you know. That was kind of stressful. I'm not used to making beats this quick. I like to take my time with them, but I guess there are some advantages to this because it stopped me from overthinking. I just ran with the first thing that came to my mind. But yeah, I haven't had a chance to arrange the full thing, but let's just see how it sounds. Piano melody is not too bad. So I maybe would have added like a synth bass or something. I just mixed it a little bit better. Still managed to get the pause drop in. That perk definitely needed some mixing, or just a different one. And then, yeah, rather than the strings coming in there, I would have pushed them further back. But yeah, that's not actually too bad. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you're feeling the beat. I think it actually came out all right considering I only had 10 minutes and the fact that I'm ill. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And yo, I've seen a lot of people commenting about the Grease drill kit that I've been using in my past few videos. That was one of the kits that came free with the course for anyone who got on the early access list. But I will be officially dropping it for everyone within the next few weeks. I just want to add some more sounds then I'll be dropping it in the Vault 2.0 with the Trap Kit, Boom Bap Kit and R&B Kit. So yeah, definitely keep a lookout for that. Much love for watching the video once again and I'll see you next time.